Welcome back to our calling the internet. Okay, so tonight we're at this vid and it's called Top 5 Tattoo Artist Red Flags. <sighs> yeah, I already know I already know one. One is gloves. Also it's gotta be the needle's gotta be sterilized as well. If I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I'm just gonna dive right in. <laughs> Let's watch another one of these red flag videos. So yeah, without further ado, let's get to his reaction. together a list of the top five tattoo artist red flags from TikTok. And I know a lot of you are not going to agree with everything on this list, but I think they're really interesting red flags to look out for and to discuss. So let's get right into tattoo artist red flags. We're starting off this list with easily one of the most controversial takes, and that is your tattoo artist having no tattoos themselves. What is a tattoo what? artist red flag? A tattoo artist that has zero tattoos. Really? They don't need to, but they definitely should. What? Uh, I think you got to go through what you're putting other people through. I'm supposed mm. to say no, but yeah, you kind of do. How else are you going to know what you're doing? <laughs> yeah. When I saw my apprenticeship, I tattooed myself just to see how deep you need to go for getting a tattoo and just the experience overall. I feel like tattooing yourself is a pretty crucial part of your apprenticeship. It is something that I'm definitely looking forward to. My mentors talked about it. Other tattoo artists in the shop have told me about the tattoos that they've done on themselves during their apprenticeship. And they're able to compare those apprentice mm. tattoos to the work that they're literally- I know someone's done tattoos on themselves, but I don't even know if it's camp or not. To be honest. Look, it says, so yeah, you, they've got tattoos themselves, so yeah, they're definitely, <laughs> definitely the start. on people now. And definitely not everyone feels the same way the tattoo artists need to have tattoos. But I don't find that a big deal, though. The only reason Maybe have a small one. people say you need to have tattoos to be a tattoo artist is that you can understand the pain that you're putting your clients through, but I don't think that's very necessary anymore. No, I don't think so. Just because you like to tattoo or like to do art, I don't think it means you have to wear them. I do think understanding the experience and the pain of getting a tattoo is definitely valid. But what I think is almost more important is when you're in the tattoo industry and you're surrounded by so many artists, I don't understand how you could not be collecting tattoos from people that you admire. And to not even want to put your own artwork on yourself to tattoo yourself is also like, why wouldn't you want to show your own work on your own body if you don't trust other people? Maybe this is a horrible take, but to me, it comes across as these people are just tattooing because it's their job. They're not tattooing because they love it and they're passionate about the community and the artwork and the people. They just like clock into their job, tattoo a bunch of people and then leave. And I mean, I get totally that. totally reasonable. Like, I understand people need to make a living. And maybe I'm completely wrong about this. Maybe these people are incredibly passionate about tattoos. They're just super indecisive about their own body. This next one is also a bit controversial, and it is self-taught tattooers who don't practice safety standards and tattoo out of their houses. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I actually agree with that one. That tattoo equipment was a lot less easy to get i just think there's too many people doing it from home the thing that bothers oh. me most about this culture of do-it-yourself tattooing is what happened to supporting your local artist like we have spent a lot of people spend a lot of money on finding an apprenticeship or they spend a lot of time years being shot doing the dirtiest nastiest things in hopes to learn how to tattoo now you can mm. definitely be a self-taught tattoo artist some people have to be self-taught tattoo artists because apprenticeships are not accessible to everyone. So just being a self-taught tattooer is definitely not a red flag. I want to make that very clear. But if they're mm. self-taught and they haven't invested in learning how to mm. set up a safe and clean tattoo station, that's a huge red flag. But if anyone is asking you to come into their living space to get tattooed there, there's no way that that's a safe and clean enough space mm for you to be tattooed there. 
I agree. A few months ago, we talked about a TikTok story of a girl who went and got tattooed in this guy's garage, and she felt trapped there, and she ended up getting a tattoo that she hated, and she felt like she had to pay or he wouldn't let her leave. Like, these are situations uh -huh. you should absolutely avoid. A good rule of thumb is if the tattoo shop has a name, and you can search it on, like, Google Maps, and it, something will come up. If you can't find anything, if there's no Instagram That's account flag. associated with the tattoo shop, I would say avoid that at all costs. And this one also just goes in hand with, like, shops that might be dirty. So making sure where you're going is clean, mm. use gloves, they sanitize everything. Mm, mm, that's true, right? Some some people's places are so, are so unclean. They want to do tattoos from that. Some people do tattoos from, in their own bedrooms. I'm just like, bro. Now, I know someone who got tattooed went to the person's um, house, their room, because apparently they give good tattoos, apparently. Yeah, my, my friend got it done. Obviously, it wasn't big ones. It was, a, it was a little small one. They had no black ink. They had green ink. And they used that and gave him a little smiley face on their knee. Long story short, it's faint now. Like, it's non-existent now. And I'm pretty sure they got it covered up with something else. Uh, no, I don't remember. <laughs> That's the story of a stick and poke, isn't it? Yeah, I just want to throw that out there. And your health should be their number one priority. This is one of the biggest problems in the Fuck tattoo industry that I that see pole. today. Is it that hard to put on a glove? Setting up your yeah, station gloves. without gloves. Touching the ink caps and paper towels without gloves. Setting up your needles without gloves. Who does all that shit without gloves, though? Because even they use gloves. Moving on to number three, we have a bad portfolio or no portfolio. I couldn't imagine mm. agreeing to be tattooed by someone with no portfolio. Who? That's crazy. They have no healed photos, so there's nothing either. Yeah, any of the I agree with that. That are healed, it's just fresh stuff. All of the pictures are just white skin only, or black and gray filter over it, or like filters in general. Mm. Yeah, you have to have healed photos. These are definitely very concerning things to look out for. And I understand as social media is so important, people want to present mm. their tattoos in a way that they think looks the best. But I think searching for an artist that is most truly representing their work is a lot more important than like a cohesive Instagram feed. Moving on to number two on our list of tattoo artist red flags, we have tattoo artists with a bad attitude. And this can encompass so many things, and I think it happens a lot more than you might think. If your tattoo artist takes a smoke break every 15 minutes, if your tattoo artist uses the bathroom every 30 minutes, they're more than likely smoking if they get really touchy about you just asking questions, I think that could be a red flag. Yeah. So I think, unfortunately, a tattoo artist that has a bad attitude, they might just generally not care about the people that they're tattooing. And I think this happens when the tattooers have been tattooing for a really long time and they get a little bit jaded to the industry. And it's honestly kind of sad to see happen. Being a tattoo artist isn't mm. a perfect career. Obviously, there's things that happen that make them upset. And when that happens over and over and over for years and years and years, they sometimes tend to overlook their clients, which obviously is bad for business because your clients are your business. Drugs and alcohol could definitely be a huge factor in this. And if you're concerned about your tattoo artist behavior or if you feel like they really don't care, that's a great reason to just walk away. And last but certainly not least, in fact, probably the worst red flag out there for a tattoo artist. We have number one, being a super creep, being inappropriate with your clients. What's a tattoo artist red flag? Uh, sleeping with your clients, discount or otherwise. Uh. A tattoo artist makes inappropriate comments. They touch you inappropriately. They ask you out. Huh. 
This person has a lot of sexualized photos of their clients. Yeah, that's a red flag. If you're getting a sternum tattoo and they don't give you anything to cover up with, or if you're getting a thigh tattoo and they make you take your shorts off, anything where they're basically trying to take all of your clothes off and not giving you an option to stay covered. AI will end you. <laughs> what kind of time wants to do that? <laughs> that's career, crazy. Only if you let it. You see, most... <sighs> I think that this doesn't happen that often, but it really does happen a lot. I've seen it a lot. I've heard about it a lot. I've experienced some of it. And it's really crazy how people are still doing this. Tattooing is so fun and it's social and most people get tattooed on the weekends. There's not a lot of rules for how you need to act in a tattoo studio. But that doesn't mean it's not a professional career. Mm. They shouldn't be treating this like anything other than a literal professional service to somebody else. And it just sucks that that's not the case so much of the time. And tattoo artists will give discounts to people if they go home with them, which is so messed up. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, I was on some dating apps and I would see tattooers on there trying to get clients through the dating app, which to me was a nah. huge red flag in general, like as a person and a tattoo artist. To me, it just seems like they don't take their career seriously and they're like using tattooing to date women that they probably wouldn't be able to date if they weren't tattoo artists. You should absolutely not feel any sort of romantic anything when you're getting tattooed. You should feel no. safe. You should feel like there's options for you to cover your body if needed. This is like the bare minimum of things you should expect as a client. So there we have my list of the top five tattoo artist red flags. I would love to know what you all think about this list in the comments down below. Do you agree with me? Do you think that some of these shouldn't be on the list? Let me know down below. But if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you have, leave me this emoji in the comments so that I know that you are a real one. Bye, bye. Okay. Yeah, it's done. No, yeah, it's done. But... <laughs> The only one I didn't, the only one I didn't agree with was the um was the one of was it the tattoo artist, um, not having tattoos themselves, being red flag. That's the only one I didn't. That's the only one that I didn't agree with. But with that being said, all, all the people that have had tattoos me all have had loads of tattoos, right? <laughs> now nah, this girl who, <laughs> now nah, this girl gave me um it was the same girl that gave me like my first three tattoos. So this one on my hand here, side of my hand here, which I need to get touched up. Then I've got this one up here and then one here as well. Yeah, the one that gave me them them three. They told me that, that they got um, a big piece for their first tattoo. I think that's what a lot of people do, right? And they're like, don't do that. Get a, get a small tattoo first and then work. Then if you want to get a bigger one, then get a bigger one. That small that, that small one is to see how uh, how you get on with the pain. <laughs> but yeah, that's the only one I didn't agree with. But all the other ones, I agreed with for the most part. <laughs> I know somebody who, who their first tattoo up here, they got a discount on it because because the person was one of their exes. Wow. What happened? Did the ex think, uh, think that thing they were going to get back with them and they gave them a discount on a tattoo? Fuck nice. <laughs> we'll go through people's heads. But yeah, a tattoo artist not having a portfolio would be like, a graphic designer and illustrator not having a portfolio. Are you crazy? They need to see. They need to see proof of your work. But yeah, <laughs> this is a, this is an interesting bit there. And I'm dropping right to comments and seeing what other people are saying right now. Someone said creepiness is definitely the biggest red flag because because it can unfortunately be found in any industry and it's always unprofessional. I don't find it unprofessional mixing business pleasure anyway, right? <laughs> Trying to get clients by going on dating apps and shit. That's mad to me. That's wild to me. Like, nah. And someone said, I got a tattoo. I got tattooed at home by an amazing artist uh, who made my favorite tattoo ever. Oh, that's that's good. <laughs> and I know somebody, one of my friends, right? Their mum knows somebody who could, who just comes to the house and gives them a tattoo or something like that. I'm just like, but I was talking about this years ago. Don't know, if still, don't know if they're still in touch with the person. That person uh, must make must make a hell of a lot of money. That's like going to people's homes and, and tattooing them. I mean, if you've got the equipment and you, and it's all safe and sanitized and all that, then I guess then I guess it's fine. Someone said my uh, my second someone said someone contacted my my second tattoo ever was I uh, was done. They misspelled done, but yeah, I was done in a girl's house. Uh, but I felt felt very safe all the time. 
She she had a room that was used exclusively for tattooing clients, and sh and she has full uh, had the full professional equipment, meaning I didn't get tattooed on a sofa or anything like that. That's good. Everything was clean and safe. I think a uh, tattooing at, uh, at home can be a red flag depending on how on how it's done and if the person is a creep and makes you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, true. And also if and also if their home's a mess, it's like no. Like imagine that the room they're tattooed. As long as then, as long as the room that they're not tattooing you in is a mess and all that, then I guess, then I guess it's fine. Oh wow, well, these these are long ass ones. So my tattoo artist works in a, in a shop, and he also sometimes uh works out of his home studio. Not bad. Um, uh, I've been to both. Uh, he has the same high standard of cleanliness and safety. Uh, when he when he does tattoos at home as he does at the shop uh, that's good i mean but yeah this is an interesting bit though okay so that's it for this video like subscribe if you want i post if whenever i feel like it and i'll see you next one bye <laughs>